What's up, people? Happy to uh, Thursday. Um, okay, the bold and beautiful. I love this episode. I'm starting to like these episodes of BNB because they're focusing more on business, and that's what I like. Um, I love the fact that they're focusing on business. Ridge. Here's my thing about Eric's decision on the new president. My 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 thoughts on this is that I feel Eric made the right decision when he kept Rick on as president and told Ridge he could be co-vice president with Brooke. I felt like it was the best decision. I would have made the same decision due to the fact Ridge and Rick both brought up good points. But I didn't like the way Ridge handled that meeting. He came in there. First order of business was to fire Oliver, which I think was the dumbest decision you can make because Oliver is talented. He's loyal and he's almost a part of the family. He's basically a part of the family. He's been loyal to them for years. He's worked with Forrester for years and you fire him. Then you basically want hope for the future to be aligned with Couture, which I can understand because I agree with Rich. Couture is timeless and Couture is going to be around for a long time. Hope for the future. He doesn't want hope for the future to be here today, gone tomorrow. And I respect that. And I agree with that. But I agree with Rick. Hope for the future has been doing great numbers. They've been pulling in a lot of money and a lot of business. And they tapped into a market that hasn't been tapped into yet. It's global. You know what I mean? I agree with Caroline, too. You know, hope for the future is growing. It's global. It's made a lot of money. And Ridge can't just come in there making big decisions. And he did not consult anybody. He just came in there making big decisions without telling anybody those plans. That's not fair. That's not fair of him to do that. And I know a lot of people say, well, Brooke, she she need to mind her business. No, Brooke doesn't need to mind her business. That was a management meeting. Brooke is a part of that company. She's a part of management. So she has a say. And I'm glad Brooke did. Brooke is finally doing what I wanted her to do and then stick up for her kids. I don't think it's fair for Ridge, who's been gone for a year. Mind you, he left that company in 2012. He didn't even give them any you know, indication of anything. He just left and dropped the CEO title. And I felt like it wasn't fair for Ridge to just come back and assume a position of power. That was not fair and it was not right for him to do that. And I'm glad Eric made the choice that he made. I know a lot of people don't like Brooke. They don't like Rick. I'm not a big fan of theirs either. But right is right and wrong is wrong. From a business standpoint, they've been doing well without Ridge. And Rick brought up a lot of good points. But Ridge brought up a lot of good points too because Rick, he's not a designer. Ridge is more experienced than Rick. I do agree with that. He is more experienced than Rick, but Rick has a point. They need to start focusing more on the new generation. And Caroline had a point. Ridge is stuck in the 90s instead of the new era. This is 2014. This is not the 90s. So you got to kind of step out of the 90s and step into the new day and age. And I agree with that. What Ridge was doing was totally uncalled for. Um, I feel like Rick earned his position as president. Rick assembled a good team. I don't think Rick is this big, brilliant businessman. I don't think he is. That's not what I'm saying, but I do think he's made some good decisions so far because clearly the company is doing well in his leadership. And like Ridge said, they got the numbers to prove it, that the company has made more money under his leadership than it has under Ridge's leadership in the past. That may be true. 
So why not give Rick the benefit of the doubt? Why not just let him stay in the president's chair and prove himself even further? Rick did earn that position. Look at the team he assembled. Caroline is a damn good designer. And Rick is a decent businessman. Clearly, Rick thinks big. He thinks global. You know, he thinks of new ideas, new ways to do things. Not saying that Ridge doesn't, but they both have different ideas of things. I feel like Ridge came in here and he did this on a personal level. I don't think this was really business because according to Ridge, he didn't want Rick out of the company. He just wanted him out of the president's chair. I don't believe that. Everybody knows Ridge cannot stand Rick. If it was up to Ridge, he would have had Rick out of the company, period. And we all know that's true. Furthermore, Oliver had a point too today when he said that his job was saved for the moment. When Eric reversed Ridge's decision, his job was saved for the moment. But what about in the near future if Ridge ever does take over that company? All of their jobs are going to be in jeopardy. My suggestion is Oliver, Hope, Rick, Brooke, they all take some stock, not stock in a company, but stock in themselves. And they all work harder, make the, the hope for the future line pop, make it be bigger, do a bigger job. So that way, if Ridge does ever take over the company, he doesn't have any reason to fire none of them because they all did a great job. And I feel like they all did do a great job while Ridge was out. Um, I just didn't like the way Ridge humiliated Oliver in front of everybody and fired him on the spot without giving him a proper chance. That wasn't fair. And Ridge know damn well it wasn't fair. What I hate, though, is the fact that Brooke and Eric keep bringing up personal issues. They keep bringing up the fact that Ridge is dating Katie. What does Ridge and Katie have to do with business? This is all business. They keep mixing personal with business, and that's the problem. You have to stop mixing the personal with the business. That's stupid. You can't do that. Um, maybe, maybe Brooke did have a point. Maybe, you know, Katie is a little too boring. That's Brooke's opinion. I don't think so personally. I mean, what's wrong with poetry and stuff like that? There's nothing wrong with that. But Brooke was fierce today when she told Ridge that as long as she's a part of that company and as long as she's around, Ridge will never be president. I think Brooke finally is over Ridge. Only more time will tell, but I think she is starting to have enough of Ridge. Of course, she still loves Ridge. Of course, feelings are still there between her and Ridge. Of course. But I think it's time for Brooke to move on. And I am glad that Oliver got his job back. He's talented. And um, Caroline is a very talented person, too. I think sometimes she oversteps. And I hate the fact that she always run into Rick's defense because Rick is a grown man. But I love that she has Rick's back. You know, that's what a loyal wife does. But overall, it was a damn good episode. I think Eric made the best decision. And I love the fact Allie and everybody was behind Oliver. And I like that. But I do agree with Eric's decision so far. I, I agree with it. I know a lot of people might not because you hate the Logans. I'm not fond of the Logans either, but they had good points. So did Ridge. But I think Ridge should um, work for his position. Because remember when Rick was at Forrester International and he came back to Forrester LA's office, he didn't get the president's position right away. He worked for it. And that's what Eric wants Ridge to do. Work, work your way up to getting back the CEO's chair. I think that's what Ridge should do. It's only fair. It's only right that he work his way back up into the company. I love the direction that the show is going in so far with these business storylines. I think the business storylines are far more interesting than the... Um, the love triangle storylines, because I'm not too fond of these love triangles, but I do love a good business story. And I love that that's what they're doing with B&B. Um, they're definitely doing good things with B&B. Ridge, I, I do like Thorsten K as Ridge because I think, you know, he has a backbone. He He's take charge. He's not afraid of Brooke. He's not wimp. You know, he's not, you know, pussy whipped like Ron Moss's Ridge was. 
But I, I, you know, I have to agree with Rick and I have to agree with Brooke and I have to agree with Ridge. They all made up good points. But at the end of the day, Eric made a, the best decision possible. And I stand by that decision because if it was me, I would have made the same choice. So I have to stand by that. Um, so anyway, I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.